In 2013, Christie was entering his god era. He had pioneered and optimized his Morgan Doom Virgil team, to a point where only a few players had a chance of even beating him in a game, let alone a set. At NorCal Regionals 11 though, one unknown player would make a god bleed. Senior Taxi at the time was a completely unknown player. He played in locals, never winning and never even reaching a top 8 there. He plays a unique team of Chris, Spencer, Dante. A team that is incredibly front-loaded with tons of support for Chris, but can fall apart if Chris dies early. It can be very difficult to get in on this team though, as it's very defensive, and if he does land a hit, it's going to hurt. Chris was coming off wins at Northeast Championships and Civil War. His Moradoom shell starting to take shape into one of, if not the strongest teams in the game. He was also slowly becoming the villain of Marvel 3, as the team was incredibly dominant and also forced you to play a completely different style of Marvel. Instead of the fast-paced brawls, he slowed the game down and forced you to come into his labyrinth of fireballs and missiles. Morgan forced the community to be creative in their solution to what looked like an unbeatable team. There were two schools of thought at the time when trying to beat Chris G's team. Some leaned towards a movement and teleport heavy style, forcing mistakes from the Morgan players and finding small openings. People like Justin Wong and F Champ were very strong in this style, but it was very, very hard to execute and very few people could do it. The other side was clearing the projectiles and creating openings that way. While easier to execute, it requires you to play characters that were difficult to play or lower tier. This is the direction Senior Taxi went, as his team was naturally suited to clearing the screen and catching Morgan. To further expand on this, we have to understand how projectiles work in Marvel 3. Every projectile in Marvel 3 has a set priority and durability points. For example, Morgan Solfus has 5 durability points and Reuse Fireball also has 5 durability points. If they hit each other, they both use up all of their durability points and disappear. Chris's Magnum is 10 durability points, which means it will actually travel through a Morgan Fireball. Beams function very similarly, but because they last a long duration, they are handled slightly differently. Beams have a set amount of durability per frame they are active. For example, Dante Jam Session has 3 durability points per frame for 10 frames, resulting in up to 30 points of durability. This allows Jam Session to block multiple Morgan Fireballs. We find ourselves back in Northern California, as game one between Chris G and Senior Taxi starts. Both players immediately run to their own corners and Chris G does astral vision. Senior Taxi catches him with a big magnum shot from full screen, setting the mood. Morgan recovers and starts her fireball game. Taxi sees that Morgan wants to put pressure on him and throws a grenade at his feet. As both players scramble and call assists, Chris G is able to get a grab. Doom missiles allow him to confirm and he attempts to TAC, but Senior Taxi breaks it. This allows Senior Taxi to now start his game. Morgan gets clipped, but Senior Taxi drops his combo, allowing her to survive. Taxi covers every recovery option Chris G has and forces him to eat a large amount of chip damage, making Chris G tag into Virgil. Both players scramble for a hit until Chris lands a magnum shot from across the stage, allowing him to go straight into level 3, killing Virgil. Oh! He, oh, he got him with the magnum oh. again, picks him up for level 3! Hell yes, dude! Kill Virgil! He was able to survive the incoming mix up and tag in Morgan safely. This is still very dangerous as Chris G activates Astral Vision and puts immense chip damage and pressure on the Senior Taxi. And uh, she's gonna start throwing her out. Great the soul Dante call right there, well, right underneath her. He's forced to Alpha Counter to save his Chris, where he spends a bar of super to swap to another character while he's in block stun. Spencer struggles immensely with this matchup and it shows as Morgan cleanly eats him up and gets him to a pixel. As Spencer lands, Chris G knows the only way for him to get hit is with Bionic Arm Super and X-Factors just in case. Taxi saves his meter and takes the death instead. With X-Factor 2, Chris G immediately kills Senior Taxi's next character. With no meter and his X-Factor draining, Chris G needs a hit on incoming to seal the game. Senior Taxi was waiting for just that though and punishes him with an X-Factor activate and throw. In X-Factor 3, Dante can convert off this throw and he kills Morgan. Senior Taxi miss inputs and Doom gets to get in for free. Oh, no. Doom. He, he blows the mix-up but he gets another chance. He clips Dante but can't convert and Dante gets another throw, comboing and ending game one. Wow, Senior, senior Taxi! Ta Taxi. The crowd erupts and Senior Taxi smirks. First match, yo, I'm looking at PR Paul Rock, he's going nuts. He's already done what was considered impossible and taken a game off the very best player in the world. Currently, only 4% of you would be Chris G. If you want to stop Chris G's onslaught, press the subscribe button below. Chris G starts the next game by rushing into Senior Taxi's Chris, adapting immediately since last game. He keeps him locked in the corner with Morgan's immense fireball pressure and doom missiles. Round. He, this is gonna be tough. He's in a much, a much worse neutral position than he was in the first round. Yeah, I agree. Knowing he can't stay here forever, Senior Taxi decides to alpha counter again, but immediately cancels it into bionic arm, blowing through the fireballs and hitting Morgan. To do it again. He Ooh. caught her! He immediately X-Factors, knowing he has a chance if he can just kill Morgan. And Morgan. Yep. 
Wow, senior attacks, but this is why this is so risky, because he's going to have level 3 Virgil. Christy continues to run away, as Spencer has a difficult time catching Doom. This continues until Christy finally gets the opening he was looking for, ending Spencer and setting up a mix-up on the vulnerable Chris. Right. And here we go, let's see what he's got. Where's the defense at? You've got to block it. this. Patiently forces Senior Taxi to block as he then baits the throw with a dashback and crouching light. Pops X Factor to kill Chris quicker and sets up a very powerful mix up on Dante. Senior Taxi tries his best, but is eventually opened up, allowing Chris G an easy second game victory. Senior Taxi takes a deep breath as Chris G is looking annoyed. Crowd fully against them as they root for the underdog Senior Taxi. You know, if you follow me on Twitter. Round two starts and both players play conservatively again. Chris G waits for the Magnum shot to come out before he activates Astral Vision this time, which allows him to start his game up. Both players are getting clipped and chipped, but neither can land a strong combo. Taxi lands a big Magnum shot on Chris G's Doom Assist, hitting him over and over with it as he evades Morgan's fireballs. This forces Chris G to use Virgil Assist instead of Doom Missiles, easing the pressure on Senior Taxi and allowing him a little bit of breathing room. Look at Doom though. That Doom is hurting. Senior Taxi attempts a brave call and tries a team hyper combo to end Doom, but misses and just does some chip damage to Morgan. This puts him on the back foot as Chris G can openly put a ton of pressure onto him without fear of getting punished badly. Morgan puts Chris on life support and forces the raw tag. Spencer eats almost 50% of his health in fireballs, but Taxi keeps Chris alive. After scrambling a bit, Senior Taxi actually scares Chris G into X-Factoring with a grapple. Uh, he's gonna fish for an arm. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, he, Chris wisely heard, get over here, <laughs> yeah. he X-Factored. While he loses to Spencer, he now has a small opportunity of getting back in the game. With Chris back in the game, with a little bit of health, he attempts to clip Morgan, but Chris G plays passively and chips him down. He's now down to just Dante. Chris G gets an immediate opening. Oh wow, and that gets the combo conversion off the missiles. But Senior Taxi blocks the TAC that would kill him. Taxi uses his opening to enter Double Trigger and X Factor to finish off Morgan. Chris G doing a really great job running away. There we go. Wow, he nailed Doom and he just took huge damage. He catches Doom quickly after incoming and grabs him, killing Doom as his X-Factor runs out. He's now down to an honest match of Marvel 3 with no assists and no X-Factor. Chris blocks the initial mix-up and actually clips Dante on the Rapid Slash, but Dante falls out. Mono a mono there. Chris yeah. blocked it. Just Dante versus Virgil. Classic battle right here. Chris G gets the Rapid Slash mix-up, but he actually rolled out. Interesting. So he's in the air when it hit. Senior Taxi immediately does the airplay to summon a projectile and teleports right before it hits Virgil, causing him to get hit and combo into a level 3. He then hits the very hard link afterwards to combo another super and to take game 3. 2 to 1, Senior Taxi! With 2 seconds on the clock! With 2 seconds on the clock! At this point, Chris G is extremely frustrated. The crowd is going bananas, wanting nothing more than Taxi to take it. Shake it! Yeah, he and does. he is facing a hostile crowd! Chris G's friend and coach, Knives, comes over to give him advice before the next round as Kane Blue River, yes, that Kane Blue River, comes to provide his support for Senior Taxi. After calming down, they go into the next game. Both players immediately go to their sides of the screen and start their game plan. Chris with his Magnum and Morgan with her Fireballs take shots at each other, hoping the other one will crack. Senior Taxi decides to leave it all on the table and jumps towards Morgan in his first real act of aggression with Chris. This allows him to land right next to Doom as he calls Dante, clipping him and converting to a combo. Chris G smartly dodges with Morgan and punishes as much as he can. Morgan runs back and pops another Astral Vision. He continues to chip down Taxi, but gets hit by another Magnum. Damage from Chris. Nails her with the Magnum. Both players are whittling each other down and it's dead even. Taxi again gets brazen and pops Team Hyper Combo, attempting to catch Doom, but again misses. In a rare mistake from Chris G, he actually gets hit by the last two hits of the Super due to a missed push block, forcing him to switch into Doom. Chris G decides it's his turn to be aggressive and catches Dante's assist call, putting some pressure back on Taxi. Senior Taxi tries to aggressively jump into Doom, but misses his assist call coverage and gets grabbed for his troubles. With Chris down and Morgan back in Astral Vision, it's not looking good for Spencer. But Chris G misses a fireball input, allowing Spencer to touch the ground and bionic arm, catching both characters with the Doom missile save Morgan. He now is stuck in another Morgan fireball maze but finds a small opening up top to super jump and chip Morgan out with his grapple. Cut on the grapple line! Takes a little bit, but now Doom eats the mix up! Chris G runs away immediately and keeps Spencer out with a finger laser super from Doom. He decides to try and push the advantage with a triangle jump mix up, but Senior Taxi lets the bionic arm rip, catching and killing Doom. Senior Taxi cannot let Virgil touch the ground. 
He forces Chris G to block a jam session mix up and gets the hit, but can't convert into a combo that will kill. He attempts to chase Virgil down, but it's too late. He's activated. Virgil is now in X-Factor 3, and Senior Attacks has a long time he has to defend against the Onslaught. Spencer takes to the skies, but then changes it up and zips down towards Virgil. Oh, he caught it! And getting a hit. He just has to finish this combo to win, but he drops it. He then lands a grab and has to finish this combo to win, but drops this one too. Chris just gave him five chances! Oh, he dropped it again! Are you kidding me right now? Chris she punishes and is now down to the honest fight from before. Both anchors with no X-Factor. Daxi tries to chip him out with Thunderbolts, but Virgil waits patiently below and gets a huge punish. Oh no, that helps! Can't go, no! But he's not gonna gain meter, so he can't do two loops. The next hit wins. Senior Taxi jumps up and does Killer B, catching Chris G backdashing and ending the run of a Marble God. My goodness, Senior B. Taxi! Senior Taxi is in the building! This crowd is going crazy right now! The crowd erupts. An upset like this hasn't been seen for a long time and is very rare in Marvel. So, Lewis is known us right now. Senior Taxi is a strict mid tier dude from the run back. Through amazing defense, fast reactions, and feeding off the crowd, Senior Taxi etched himself into the Marvel history books by defeating the legendary Chris G. If you enjoy underdog matches like this, leave a like down below and let me know your favorite Marvel match of all time. Until next time.